Hey guys, movie fan here to make another special video. As I'm sure you all know, I love Power Rangers. I love them so much that I'm going to be the Blue Ranger for the next Comic Con. But just a few days ago, I got inspired to try to do more. What is it? I decided to create Green Ranger's Shield. I just completed it, and it looks awesome. Now I know you're going to ask me how I made it. So, that's today's video. I'm going to show you how I made my Green Ranger shield. For this project, you're going to need the following supplies. Cardboard, and lots of it. Gold duct tape, black duct tape, gorilla tape, a carpenter square or a good long ruler if you have one, scissors, a marker or a pencil, painter's tape or masking tape, and a utility knife. Most people would suggest an X-Acto knife, but those things are expensive and they're pretty dangerous. A utility knife is more available, it's a lot cheaper, plus when I tried using my X-Acto knife on this, it broke, so I had to use the utility knife. And I found that it cut much better than the X-Acto knife did. Okay, let's get started. First, break down all your cardboard into flat pieces. Now before you can start cutting, you need to try to measure this to the exact size that you want. Since everyone's different in size, shape, and weight, it's one of those things that I cannot advise anyone on. This is something you have to do on your own. What I did was I picked up the cardboard and held it up to my person and pretty much uh, judged how broad I wanted the front and the back to be. It doesn't have to be exact because you will be making adjustments as you go along. When you got a rough idea as to how broad you want the front and the back to be, just grab your ruler or carpenter square and draw yourself a perfect triangle. Cut it out and use that triangle to mark three more triangles. Tape two of the triangles together with Gorilla Tape and do the same with the other two. One will be your front and the other will be your back. By taping the four together like this, it makes the front and the back a lot stronger. Next, we measure and cut out the shoulders. Once again, this is something that you're going to have to figure out on your own. Luckily for me, two of the flaps that you use to fold the box actually was the perfect size for my shoulders. After you cut them out, you'll want to roll them. And... Quite simply, you just grab something round like a coffee mug or something and just try and round it out the best you can. When you got them rolled out, you want to attach them. And how you do it is quite simple. You grab yourself just an average piece of duct tape and you attach it to the front like this. Do the same with the back. One important thing to keep in mind, you want this to be at an angle so it'll be more flexible. You don't want it to be too stiff. Now you'll notice I said duct tape, not gorilla tape. Because like I said earlier, you will need to make adjustments as you go along. When you get them attached, try it on. Take into consideration your head might not be able to fit through. That's why I suggest you use regular duct tape first before you use the Gorilla Tape. If it doesn't fit, just take it apart and cut off what you need. When you got it adjusted, replace the regular duct tape with Gorilla Tape. By this point, it should start looking somewhat like Green Ranger's shield. Of course, I decided to put my little spin on it by having the shoulders be more like White Rangers. Because, as you might remember, the shoulder parts of Green Ranger's shield were sloped a little more down than White Rangers was. Now that we got all that attached, it's time to work on the collar. Grab yourself another piece of cardboard, draw yourself two straight lines, and cut yourself a thin piece. Something like this. And since this is going to be your collar, of course you want to roll it. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Now, because I used up all my big long pieces making the front and back of the shield, as well as the shoulders, I had to cut myself two pieces just to be the collar alone. It's really quite simple. Once you cut out the first part just the way you want it, just lay it flat on another piece of cardboard and trace it and cut it out the same. Keep in mind when you're done, you want to cut off the tips to make it look like, well, something like this. And of course, you'll have to tape it down with Gorilla Tape. Once you got the key points taped down, you want to cut out some triangles and squares just to fill in the gaps. Once you got the gaps filled in, we can work on the diamond shape. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the diamond shape is basically that huge diamond right on the bottom part of the chest. Now, looking at this picture, you could tell that the diamond shape is very profound. It's like part of the shield was cut off and that diamond was glued right in. And I know a lot of people do that, but there's an easier way. All you got to do is draw yourself a diamond shape on the cardboard and cut it out and then use that same diamond shape to trace where it's going to lie that's going to be important later because up next we're going to make the ribs of the shield for this you're going to have to do three different types of ribs the first ribs are going to be for the front now because of the diamond shape that we're going to put in later the ribs are going to have to be short just enough to barely touch the edge of the diamond and of course i have to cut out ribs for the shoulders and for the back and as i'm sure you already noticed the ribs on the back are much longer. Now before I show you what I did, I gotta tell you, I have no measurements for this. 
I wish I did, but I really don't. The problem is, this was something I had to do freehand in order to try to make it work for me. So here's what I did. First, I started with the shoulders. I basically measured out what I got there with a tape measure, and I drew eight straight pieces for my shoulders. I cut them out, I rolled them, and if I wasn't satisfied with the length and the width, I cut them a little shorter again. Next, I worked on the ribs for the front, and I traced out what most would probably call an obtuse triangle. It would be something like this. Now the reason why I went with this type of design is because the ribs are going to slope downward and they're going to thin out. But I also want the upper part that goes to the shoulder to look like it actually belongs with the shoulder. I cut out four pieces and tested them by putting them right where I wanted them. When I was satisfied with it, I cut out four more pieces for the other side. I rolled them up a little to give it that sloped look, and then I taped them to the front. For the back, I did something very different. I basically cut out rocket ships. And no, I'm not joking. That's pretty much what I did. I grabbed some cardboard, I drew straight lines, and basically cut out rocket ships. I just cut a point at one end and an obtuse back on the other. Once again, I cut out four of these. When I was satisfied with what I got, I cut out four more. I rolled them up and I taped them down. Next, I got the diamond shape and I taped it down just where it needed to go. And after I taped it down, I put black duct tape all over the diamond. After that, I taped the entire shield with gold duct tape. You might have already noticed that when I put the ribs down for the front, the back, and the shoulders, I left gaps between them. I did that so I could connect it with the gold duct tape. That way it'll be more flexible. So I could just lay it down if I feel like it. Plus, with me walking around wearing this thing, I'm going to need this to be as flexible as possible. Now you know what's coming next. First, I grabbed some more gold duct tape and just laid it on the very end of the black square. A lot like this, making sure that I made all the edges perfectly even. Next, I just carefully measured where I wanted to put the gold duct tape, and I cut out every strip to the exact same length and laid it down very carefully. As a result, you get an awesome Green Ranger shield entirely made out of cardboard. One thing to note though, when you cover the entire shield with gold duct tape, you're probably going to have to roll the shoulders down a little more, that way it'll sit properly. So if you ever wanted a Green Ranger shield but didn't like the prices, you might want to give this a try. It's a lot of fun, it's not too difficult to make, and plus, it's a heck of a lot cheaper. So my suggestion, give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. This is Movie Fan, signing off.